Hi, this is Rico down here at Salt Lake Valley Chevrolet. Behind me here is the 2020 Chevrolet Silverado 3500 High Country. Let's go and take a look at it. This is the 6.6 .6 liter turbo diesel. So you have this uh, vent hood here. Underneath you do have um, a moisture trap collects all your moisture in it self bleeds just has to be cleaned down occasionally for debris delivers a nice clean air into the engine there nice tires you got the running boards here footstep to help get into the cab of the or into the bed of the truck and around the back down here on the key fob you do have the tailgate drop the tailgate does lower. It's a uh, powered for low for lowering there. You do have your setup for the uh, gooseneck. You got the bed liner in here. You've got the four four prong for your trailers and seven underneath there. You got lights here, there, and up top for nighttime use. You do have a 120 outlet down here. Now for the tailgate, you can either start to, to lift the tailgate and it will start to close on its own, or down here on the uh, key fob, press that twice and hold it down. It's gonna automatically come up on its own. So very nice there. One of the new additions for 2020 with the diesels is they've mo moved the def tank and the def fill up here with the diesel, so really nice. You do have these little silver buttons on all the doors, and this is the keyless entry. So you can keep the key fob in your pocket, press that button once, it's gonna unlock that specific door, press it twice, it's gonna unlock all the doors. In here, you got a little cubby hole. And here, behind your other seat, and in the center, you have a pull down for your cup holders and armrests. So back here, you do have heated seats for your back passengers. USB ports, another outlet here, and then you got your vents. All right, moving up towards the front. You got your powered seat, locks, memory seat positions and mirror positions, and uh, climb in real quick. You have the Bose sound system in here, your electric parking brake, down here, you do have for your mirrors, powered extending, and a fold in as well. All right, you've got a trailer mode, automatic four wheel drive, four high, four low, two high. You've got your, uh, your lights for the bed of your truck. You've got this light, which is on the exterior part of your mirrors for um, off-road use. Up here, you got front end collision alert and emergency braking, heated steering wheel, cruise control, Bluetooth calling. Uh, your controls here are all for your, uh, your gauges up front. And go across all your different information and down here and view all your different information on your gauges all based on this so tire pressure brake pad life oil life the works now for your heads up display oh how well you can see it in the video i'm going to zoom in a little bit you've got that there and you can change the info so you can have the different modes on it right here. I'm not sure if uh, on the video here I'm showing it's kind of blinking or flashing a little bit, um, but in real life that does not move at all. It's a solid image the whole way. It's not uh, flashy at all. I'm not sure how it will come across on the video. Alrighty, um, your computer system in here. Actually, real quick, before we get to the computer system, the rest of your controls in here, you do have the heated seats, 
uh, cooled seating. Each of these has three levels, high, medium, and low. You have your exhaust brake, your lane guidance, uh, backup parking sensor. That lane guidance, um, if you start to drift out of your lane at, at all, it's going to warn you. That backup parking sensor coming out of a stall, a uh, parking stall, or backing into one. If you're getting close to anything or anyone's getting close to you, it's going to warn you. You do have the tailgate drop in here, and it will also uh, raise it as well. If you press and hold the, the button, it brings your tailgate back up. You got your emergency flashers, your uh, traction control. Uh, this is the switch, the power for your outlets, both in here and in the bed of the truck. Downhill cruise control, another outlet, USB port, trailer brakes. Down here is a wireless phone charger. So really nice there. It's a good size even for me personally. I have a Galaxy Note 10 Plus and it fits in there just fine. Nice big console. You got your SD card there for your uh, navigation as well as your USB ports, auxiliary port. All right, up on the uh, computer screen, you can program different users in. Each user you can customize completely with uh, um, having phones on there, uh, radio stations you can customize, and any setting that is available in the computer system you're able to customize per user. And that's based on key fob. So say you, you get in with one, your significant other uh, gets in a, a different time with their key fob, it's going to automatically adjust everything to theirs or everything to yours. So very nice there. You got the Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. So uh, if you plug your phone into one of the USB ports, um, you're going to display call logs, text messages, iHeartRadio, Pandora, Google Maps, anything like that short short of games or videos it won't allow you to do those but anything other than games or videos and stuff you're able to view up on the screen really nice there you do have the built-in navigation in here so really nice there it does come capable of the wi-fi hotspot that's all set up through onstar so um it's set up through onstar runs through the satellite uh, so you could be out middle of nowhere, no cell phone service, and still have a Wi-Fi hotspot, which is really nice. The internet does run from uh, AT&T. All right, over here you got a bunch of different trailering options that you can explore. Uh, you, depending on how advanced the trailer is that you have, your trailer you're able to uh, control interior, exterior lighting. Uh, uh, powered canopies, air condition, heater, you're able to control that from your truck, so really nice there. As well as a light test, systematically testing all your trailer lights. Um, so if you're on your own, hit that uh, button, systematically goes through all your lights and you're able to uh, go out and check that, make sure everything's running properly. You also have the uh, My Chevrolet app, so that also... Uh, the one side of it does run through OnStar, so you're able to remote start your vehicle, lock it, unlock it, and you can actually do that from anywhere. Um, so you could be in another state and start your truck um, in the state uh, it's currently located in. So uh, there's no range on it. It's really nice to have for that My Chevrolet app. It has a lot of other features showing you diagnostics, how much fuel you have in the tank, tire pressure, the whole work. So really nice there. All right time for cameras so you notice you do have this bird's eye view so you have cameras on the front of the truck back of the truck on the uh, on the mirrors uh, it takes all those images and meshes them all together and gives you this image here Did you see how detailed it is I don't know if you can tell in the video um, these are balloons that are up on the the light pole next to us and they're moving in the wind you can actually see those moving in the wind pretty cool um, it's, it's as detailed as being able to see cracks in the asphalt, everything there. So really cool. The image here is looking forward. You press this. It's now looking backwards. The next one over, it's a close-up, bird's-eye view of the back of the vehicle. And press it again, and now you're showing the front of the vehicle. Now these lines, the guidance lines, those are moving while I'm turning the steering wheel. So it shows you which direction you're going in. 
So showing you along the sides, front and sides of the truck. Now this is um, the view from your mirrors. This is looking forward. You see you still got your bird's eye view. Now looking backwards from your mirrors. And if you don't want the bird's eye view and you want this a larger image, you can do that as well. Take that off. Alrighty. So coming back, as far as uh, if you have the vehicle in reverse, I'm gonna put it in reverse real quick. You do have these guidance lines or you can turn it to a trailer line and line up perfectly to your trailer. You'll be able to see your uh, your hitch in the, the rear view there, line it up good. Uh, as soon as you get as soon as you get close to where that uh, hitch is, you can switch to this camera view and this looks straight down onto your hitch. So very nice there. You also have set that back in there. You also have your uh, bed view. So if you're lining up for a fifth wheel of gooseneck, you have that view as well. Um, you are able to um, see any of these images as you're driving down the road for approximately eight seconds. Obviously, it's set up for security or for safety reasons. Um, if you've ever heard of the invisible trailer mode, this truck is capable of doing that. Uh, how that works is you have exterior, or sorry, aftermarket cameras you can install on the back of your trailer or um, inside of your trailer. So with those, say the one on the uh, back of your trailer, uh, this takes the image of that, meshes it with this image, and it appears that you can see completely through your trailer as you're driving down the road or backing up. So really nice there. Um, you also have the one for inside of your trailer where you're able to uh, check on the contents of your load, uh, whether that's a camping trailer, horse trailer, if you want to check on your horses, utility trailer, you name it. So lots of different options there. All right, last feature I've got here is the rear, rear view mirror. So you've got your uh, typical rear view mirror or flip this, it turns into a video screen. It's all video footage. Now, pressing this, you can adjust the brightness. Brightness, dim it down, switch over. Now you're on zoom. You can zoom in, zoom out, and then you can adjust the height of your image as well. So really nice features there. And if you don't like it, you can turn it back to the uh, regular mirror there. You also have the uh, sunroof, rear sliding window. You can program up to three garage doors. So lots of really nice features. Here's your uh, emergency system through OnStar. If you need to talk to an OnStar advisor or anything like that as well. All right, once again, this was Rico, and this is the 2020 Chevrolet Silverado 3500 High Country. Thanks for joining me, and hope to see you soon.